my god. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was trolling. <laughs> <laughs> that was so fucking fun. You just adapt, bro. I mean, it's like whatever, but like, dude, fuck, just take one shot. Take your Might be getting that res, we can kill this guy. Oh my god, what's the light on that gun? It's gone. Alright, where is he? Go stay up with you. Into the bubble, mate. <laughs> Reload. 
Yo guys, I'm sure you enjoyed the little gameplay reel that we just showed with my fully crafted enhanced perk Sweet Sorrow. So of course, now is the time to show you exactly what I have on my bad boy Sweet Sorrow. So let's take a look at it. Here it is. This is my crafted Sweet Sorrow. These are the perks that I had on the gameplay that you just saw. Full Bore, Accurized Rounds, Perpetual Motion Enhanced, Tap the Trigger Enhanced. Really, really nice. First of all, let's talk about the enhanced perks and what they do. Tap the trigger gives you a massive 60 stability on your initial trigger pull. And enhanced tap the trigger basically increases the window for when the perk is active. And it means when you initially pull the trigger, you have 100 stability basically. It is absolutely phenomenal. It makes the gun feel like an absolute laser beam. Now, enhanced perpetual motion is the same as perpetual motion, but it buffs your reload stability and handling quite a bit and it activates even passively when you have your other weapon equipped. One of the best perks that they've added to the game recently. Now you have another option in this column, the PvP. Of course, this is a PvP role. All of the perks are PvE oriented, apart from Killing Wind and Perpetual Motion. Now I did try the weapon with Killing Wind, as you can tell by my lack of allies and element, because I spent all of it trying to, you know, trying out the perks and you don't keep the perk when you spend it, which sucks, might I add. So I did swap out to Killing Wind over Perpetual Motion. And you know, Killing Wind's a fantastic perk after securing a kill. So if you value that, go for that perk. For me, Perpetual Motion just makes a gun feel good at all times. And so I value that over Killing Wind, which requires a kill in order to feel good. Enhanced Killing Wind is nice though. It lasts a little longer than regular Killing Wind. And if that's what you prefer, for a little bit more range and all of the extra abilities, or sorry, buffs that it gives, then you can go for Killing Wind. But for me, Perpetual Motion was the way to go. Now, I want to talk about Barrel and Magazine. For me, there's only one option in the Magazine column, and that is obviously Accurized Rounds for the plus nine range. There's really, really no point in using anything else, in my opinion. Now, the Barrel and the Masterwork, again, you want range on your Barrel. This thing has 17 zoom. It's the highest range 720 RPM auto rifle currently available in the game. So this is the cool thing about crafting, right? I decided I want to spec in as much range as possible and make this the highest range 720 in the game. And with full bore and our range masterwork, we have achieved that with 62 range and an effective range of 28 meters, making this the highest range 720 in the game. That was what I wanted to go for. Now, I do want to talk about recall direction as well. This weapon has a base recall direction of 57, which isn't the worst. 55 is vertical recall, so you're only two points off vertical recall it kicks up to the right now if you were to go arrow head break and a counterbalance you could achieve 100 recall direction on this weapon and i did try it and it was great but my big issue is arrow head just absolutely decimates your range you can see i go all the way down to 49 and i lose around three meters of effective range and i am telling you like you, you just saw the gameplay right i had 57 recall direction in all of those clips could you tell that my recall stat wasn't perfectly uh, vertical? Between these two perks, it does not matter that you don't have 100 recall direction. 100 recall direction is kind of overrated in my opinion. It really doesn't matter. But again, it's up to you. That's the beauty of crafting. If you really do want that perfect 100, simply go arrow ahead and a counterbalance stock. And at the cost of a couple of meters of range, you'll have a little bit better recall direction. It's not worth it though, in my opinion. This is 100% the best way to spec out this auto rifle i have been testing it for you guys i've used the different perks the different barrels the different mags and masterworks and i can confirm to you guys at least in my opinion that this right here is the best way to craft a perfect sweet sorrow full bore accurized perpetual tap the trigger with a range masterwork i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to leave a like drop a comment subscribe all that good stuff you'd be really helping me out I'm also live on Twitch right now, so come over to the stream and say hello. Twitch.tv forward slash shake. I'd love to see you there, guys. Much love. Peace out.